Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan and just like the title of the video says, it's another day of travel. We are going to an all new destination. So let's dive right in. Again, this hallway reminds me of two things at Disney, journey into imagination or checking into Pop Century. And technically our first attraction of the trip right here, the moving walkway, it's always a good one. Oh yeah, and if you couldn't already tell, this airport is massive. So let's find our gate and get everything situated. All right, we found our gate C18 is where we're gonna board here at the United Terminal. And oh yeah, Tokyo, Japan. Oh yeah, crazy to think we've been talking about this for a long time and it's finally happening. And I think that's our plane right there. We're flying a Boeing Dreamliner and I love the Dreamliners. They're so darn nice. They're brand new. And I believe United purchased like another few hundred of them. So don't be surprised if you see more Dreamliners in your local uh, international airport. And now in our gate, I love the little like chandelier thing they got going on here. Like the lighting displays, we got the stagnant lights. Then we have these like spinning like plastic pieces that are almost like iridescent. And so when they spin, they give off a nice like little glow, little, little sparkle. We have a little bit of time to kill. So we're making our way back down into Journey into Imagination. It looks like these folks are taking another ride on the moving walkway. I mean, again, it's a great attraction. This is our, I think, second or third time today. Isn't this exciting though? Tokyo, Japan. And I'm a little tired, so I might, I might knock out pretty quick. On this oh yeah, one. we're very exhausted. So this is gonna be actually a pretty easy flight. Oh yeah, see this gentleman right here, he's on the launched moving walkway. That's why he's moving a little faster. Yeah, this like old school neon is legit. I love how it's like total rainbow vibes in here. And I wanted to show all of you the giant dinosaur that's in here too. Look at that, that's crazy. See, this is like a theme park in here, the airport's so big. And then also over here, get a better shot of the snow because yeah, it's that time of year. I think Chicago just had its first snowfall not too long ago. This will probably melt in the next uh, few hours because there's no snow in the forecast until probably sometime later. But it is nice to see a little bit of snow on the ground and a little bit on this truck. Alrighty, we're getting ready to board. We have our passports ready to go. Oh yeah, this is super exciting. I am stoked. I don't think it's gonna hit me until we like take off. What about you? Do you think it's gonna hit you when we like sit down or do you think it's gonna hit you when we like take off or even when we get there? I think it's gonna hit like once we officially land. Yeah, when, we, when we're like, when we know we're there. <laughs> I, think, I think it's gonna be cool to hear the language speakers. Yeah. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, it hit me when we sat down, when we went to Paris, mm -hmm. that's when it hit me. So I don't know, it might hit me here when I sit down, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. All right, we've made it past the screening and we are heading onto the plane. Oh yeah, here we go. Alrighty, and I'm C2F, so I'm gonna be right here, heck yeah. And then Michael's right next to me. I've got to move all my little blankets and whatnot. Look at this blanket. This is nice. I love that. Hello there, neighbor. <laughs> oh yeah, this is our, our privacy. All right, goodbye. I'll see you later. See you in about, like what, 13 hours. Yeah, these United Polaris seats are so darn cool. They come with a lot of amenities. And look at this massive entertainment complex. I got like a whole movie theater in front of me right here. Looks like we got a little memory foam pillow here. This is like really comfortable. I love that. And then again, these blankets, I feel like we got more blankets on this flight than we did in Paris. Yeah. There's like, we got the whole mat, like mattress and duvet. Yeah. We don't, yeah. We got slippers in here. And then right up there, you got your air and there's a light up there as well. But we also got the lights in here, which I, th I think the, the control is in here for the light. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I forgot. And then inside this little cupboard, we got some headphones. There's a mirror in here to check yourself out. Oh, hello. And then we got, um, unfortunately, the Dasani bottled water. Not my favorite bottled water, but you know what? It's nice to have a bottled water over here. And if you need extra light, you just push this right here and then boom, look at that. And along with the remote control, you also got your plugs and everything for your phones or tablets, all that kind of fun stuff. Got a US, I think this is USB right here. And then I've put all my, my furniture store down here at the, at the bottom, which is cool because can you know obviously stretch your feet out and this whole seat turns into a bed this button right here will then if you push it forward or back and it will like lay flat and that's what i'm going to do later because i'm actually very exhausted now when you're flying international wine and beer is complimentary for i believe everyone on the plane but here uh, in the polaris cabin they have um, more selections for you and of course we have our food got the welcome aboard 
And then we have our mid-flight snack and then our before arrival goodies. Ooh, look, the champagne has arrived. Oh yeah. Okay, if they don't have Lord of the Rings on here, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, they do. Heck yeah. Are these like the, let's see, are these like the cut versions or are these like the, the 170, oh, no, these see, these are the, like the regular ones. But hey, if I watch all three, I should be good. Oh, I figured out the light. Probably an entire bath and body works in here. So let's see. All right, we got some socks. Ooh, they got some grippies so you can climb a mountain with these. We have a pen here to write down all of our bad decisions. And we got this, they're a face. So I think, so there's a towelette in here, lip balm, hand cream, hydrating mist, eye serum. Oh, I will take all of it. Soft tissues. Oh, here we go, earplugs. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely wear these when I go to bed. I don't mind like a little bit of white noise, but like this will save the day because I will wake up if I hear like a plate or people talking or anything, I'll, I'll instantly wake up. Alrighty, cheers to Tokyo. Boom. All right, we're about to take off in a few minutes and they already took our order for dinner. I don't know when we're gonna have that. Probably in a little bit after, uh, I would say probably after like, I don't know, 45 to 50 minutes of, of flight, then we'll get served dinner or maybe even longer. I'm not sure. I know we'll get like a little snack or appetizer first and then dinner, but I ordered the shrimp for the appetizer, then the chicken as the main course, but then the salmon as a secondary if they don't have chicken. And then dessert, I haven't picked that just yet. And then Michael got... I ordered for the appetizer, the shrimp. Mm -hmm. And then um, for the entree, I ordered the salmon. And my second choice, just in case I don't get the salmon, is the chicken. So we pretty much did the same thing, but Do just really? like the opposite. Yeah, oh, I got okay. the chicken as my main. And then when the dessert comes around, you bet I am getting the ice cream. That's the best thing here. <laughs> the ice cream, like, the ice, yeah, the ice cream sundae. So good. Yeah, let me see. I think it's, yeah, the ice cream sundae. See, again with these Dreamliners, they got legit lighting in here. The blue hue they got going on is really pretty. Yeah, that, that was me, that was me like five minutes ago, just like crying, realizing that it's finally happening. I'm going to Tokyo. All right, we are officially on the move and doing the, the taxi. Now, <laughs> the taxiway here at Chicago is like 18 million miles long, so it's gonna take a minute. Now you can do this online, but we chose not to do it online. We we're just gonna do it on the plane, but it's pretty much your customs, all that kind of fun stuff before you get into the country. Ooh, our warm towels have arrived. All right, a little snack has arrived, including a glass of red wine. I also got some water. And as far as the nuts are concerned, just like a, a variety of them, got cashews, almonds, and other surprises in there. And as far as the red wine, I got the Landmark Overlook 2019. That was a good year. Ooh, Michael got his food. He's gonna give you an up close and personal this shot of it. Pretty good. <laughs> if you can smell this right now, this smells so good. I have my appetizer right here, and I have my entree right here, and I have a little salad, some bread and then dessert coming out later. Ooh, and then here's mine. Now I also got the salmon because they did not have the chicken. That's okay. Got the salmon with the vegetables, potatoes, and we got the shrimp appetizer, some bread, nice little beautiful salad, some salt and pepper shakers right here, butter, and we have a little balsamic vinaigrette for the salad. Oh yeah, this looks fantastic. And also before my Lord of the Rings marathon, I'm gonna be watching The Matrix, another solid movie. Alrighty, salad demolished. I'm gonna try the shrimp next. Now this is a cold dish, this is not hot. So it's with tomatoes and a mint yogurt dressing. Okay, now remember we're on an airplane, so we gotta set the standard right, but this is actually really, really good. And the shrimp is huge. I mean, this is total jumbo shrimp. Yeah, this is what the full shrimp looks like before I completely demolish it. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty big. Alrighty, my dessert has arrived and I got the ice cream with caramel and OMG, that looks just heavenly. I mean, I think, I think vanilla is like the standard base and then you could just add a bunch of toppings after yeah, that. There's, yeah, there's, a, there's plenty of toppings for sure. Yeah. But I just chose caramel because it's my favorite. Same. I mean, it's yeah. You gotta you gotta keep it simple. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's getting dark and spooky in here. It is getting dark and spooky. Oh, yep. <laughs> We're gonna yeah. We have to do uh, light signals. <laughs> do the whole flight for the next nine and a half hours. But let's go take a look at the restroom. And see what's going on in there. Already, here's the turlet. Got a nice little mirror here. Got a nice sink. Garment groomer, hand cream, face mist. 
We have this little baby changing thing, another mirror to check yourself out. And then, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty standard stuff here. And here's the flight map, so you can see that we're going up and around uh, into Japan. Because remember, the Earth is uh, not flat. <laughs> it's round, so this is how we have to fly. You don't just go straight across like that. But yeah, we are over Canada right now, which is really cool. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Oh, and another really cool thing about these Dreamliners, the windows do not have the, like, shade. It actually is a tinting window, so you press a button and the window tints. I think the flight attendants uh, automatically dimmed the cabin because it's, uh, now it's nap time before our next, uh, I think, I think after nap time it's another meal or something. But yeah, isn't that a really neat uh, feature of the Dreamliners? Yeah, they have tinting windows, it's just buttons now. They're getting rid of all of the extra parts, which probably is good for weight management. You know, they're trying to save uh, on weight of these planes and make them more efficient. So I'm sure that adds up, especially with a plane this size. Alrighty, it's time for one more meal, and I am going to choose the, let's see, teriyaki glazed yellowtail. That sounds pretty good. It's a Japanese meal, and I think that is it. So I'm excited to give that a try. Okay, Michael and I got the same thing. Michael got the yellowtail as well. We figure, why not? You know, we're going to Japan. We got to get the Japanese meal. And this is what everything looks like. I got a water and a coffee. This is a miso soup right here. So that's, I don't know how to open that. It's gonna be a mystery. We got some vegetables, we have some rice, and then there's the yellowtail right there. Already I've demolished everything else, so let's try the fish. That's really good. The, uh, the fish has like a sweet and savory taste to it. And also I demolished my rice, as you can see. But yeah, this is, I would get this again if I was flying back to Japan and they have this on the menu. Yeah, for sure. Alrighty, the cabin lights have turned back on. We're getting ready for landing. We're about to land in about 25 minutes. Alrighty, we've made it off the plane. We're officially in Japan. How crazy is this? I am so happy to be here. This is so much fun. And talk about a massive airport, my goodness. He's, uh, they got the, the best moving walkway ride I think I've ever been on. Now what we gotta do right now is go through customs and all that kind of fun stuff, and then we'll be good to go. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do, well, first of all, we have a hotel shuttle that picks us up in Terminal 3, which we're in right now, but we gotta get the uh, Suica card for the Japanese rail system here and like all the Metro stuff. So it's just right over here. And this will be like your train pass for however long you're going to be here in Japan. All right, we've made it outside. We're just waiting for our hotel shuttle to pick us up. And it's pretty chilly out here. It's like in the 40s. Okay, we've checked into our crazy hotel. There's some complimentary stuff for the room if we need it, but there's already stuff in the room. But let's head up and check it out. All right, here's our home for the next few days. It's a nice little tiny place. It's a... Uh, there's a lot of places in Japan that are actually pretty tiny like this when I was looking at hotels. But this is where we're going to be sleeping. We have a little couch so if we have guests over we want to throw a party. A little mini fridge right there. The hotel was very cheap and it's actually really clean in here too. What do you think of the restroom? I mean it's clean in here. Yeah. We got the toilet and we got to we got to test out the bidet. Does it, does it have one in there? I think it does. I've never used one before. So. Well, we have, we're in Japan. We got to do it. Mm -hmm. And here in the bathroom it comes with a hair dryer. We have some cups for water toothbrush and like toothpaste in there that's really cool i got some towels and all that fun stuff toilet paper and inside the shower they got shampoo body wash and conditioner which is great Ooh, and look at this we have two little signs or magnets just please make up our room or please do not disturb and you gotta take your shoes off as you can see i got holes in my socks <laughs> lovely yeah it was super cheap it was like I think for the week it was like 200 and something bucks. Like it was crazy and it's super clean in here. The check-in process is a little weird because there's just robots there. And there's like, there's like one person in the lobby, right? Yeah, there's like one person there. Yeah, there was one person there that, that was, you know, helping if people needed help, but it was actually pretty easy. I was able to get it down and there's English and you can select your language and everything. Um, but yeah, pretty smooth. Cute little hotel and you can't beat it for like 200 and something bucks for the week. We're not far from the train station. 
and we have everything loaded up. We got our Suica cards all loaded up with cash. Um, and it was like for a thousand yen, it was like six bucks or something. So that should last us a couple stops. And, um, and they said we won't be spending much money at Disney, like going to and from Disney and all that. So again, super helpful. Everyone's been super nice and everything. Wait, what do you, what do you... <laughs> turn it on the AC. Yeah, it's a little warm in here, but yeah. that's probably because it's like super cold outside. I think yeah. it's like 40 degrees it's, outside. It's actually really freezing outside. But with that, that's going to do it for today's very quick travel vlog from the United States all the way over here to Tokyo, Japan. It's insane to think about. Finally, we made it and it's going to be so much fun. There's going to be so many cool vlogs on the channel here in the next few days. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already because you don't want to miss out on all these ones, plus all the other videos I have on my channel covering a bunch of other theme parks from all over. If you enjoyed today's video, you can let me know by smashing the thumbs up button, and don't forget to check out my Instagram account by following the link down below in the description. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is, and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.